in this women's 400 meter hurdle final. Off we go with the women's 400 meter hurdle final. The overhead look at our field and Dalila Muhammad starting to make up the stagger on a lot of yuckage, the Australian Olympian to her outside. This is Muhammad with a half step lead, halfway home looking smooth. Well, the 34 year old coming in with eons of experience behind her and putting that to good use. She just glides over those hurdles, Will, makes them look easy. The eighth place finisher at the Olympic trials, Cassandra Tate starting to push her. Simultaneous over the hurdles with Yukich running swiftly on the outside. Muhammad in the middle, close through the final few barriers. As Cassandra Tate, the 33-year-old, battles with Muhammad. There on the inside, the Paris-bound Gianna Woodruff running well. Here comes Yukich with speed at the end, and the Australian takes it. 55.3, just a tick off of her career best. Tuning up for Paris in a big, big way. A lot of Yukich beats Woodruff in 55.45 for the win. Mohammed third, 55.85. So just outside of Yukich's season's best, as you said, but a nice season's best there for Woodruff. She came in with a 56.56 to her name, and you see how tight things are there through the outside lanes. Yukich, Mohammed, Tate battling together around this turn. It's the speed endurance there of Mohammed that you expect to pull through, but here Tate giving her a good run for her money and a well-timed push on the inside. She was running completely solo, was Woodruff through the majority of this race. So difficult running inside and outside there, the two Paris-bound athletes, Woodruff and Jukic, battling to the line. Fast arm speed and great power across the line for Jukic, and she will take the win. Well, Ellie Yukic had a lot of work to do the second half of that race. She takes the win in 55.3. She is Paris bound of the 400 hurdles. Grant Holloway is Paris bound of the hurdles as well. And Grant's downstairs with our winner. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in Paris together. But correct me if I'm wrong. You, I think you told me you ran in three track meets, three different countries, three track meets in three different days. Yes. Tell us how you did it. Oh, gosh. It was just living on a Olympic dream. Like, I was just in the class of making that quota for the Olympic team. And at the end of the day, like, that's all I was kind of running on. It's just like that hope and that dream. I got, I think I got to my last day and I was like, I'm just gonna have fun. Like, like you can't really expect too much. You know, this whole ranking system is kind of crazy and stuff <laughs> like that. I was definitely chasing the qualifier, but did leave it quite last minute, so. Yeah. To, to come here, hour delay, and then to come here almost close to your, close to your PR, but not right, not quite there. How do you use this as a tune-up, getting ready for Paris? Yeah, this is just like exactly what I needed, um, confidence-wise. I remember, you know, four years ago, I had an interview with, had a meeting with Delilah, and I was like, "Tell you the next Olympics," and here I am, racing against her, leading up to the Olympics is just a dream. Awesome! Thank you so much. Congrats on your on your your three countries in three days. I don't know if I could do that to be honest, but I'm a, I'm gonna send it back up to you guys. She's well traveled: Spain, Switzerland, and Poland. June 21st, June 22nd, June 23rd, and a win tonight here in 